Welcome to Inktober and October, everyone. My absolute favorite time of the year because it's Halloween, my favorite holiday. We're starting off strong with a jack-o'-lantern prompt, and for this one, I wanted to make a pumpkin person because I'm a huge fan of Over the Garden Wall, so pumpkin people are very, very much something I enjoy drawing. So I made a little jack-o'-lantern person today who is holding up a lantern while also having fun with some fireflies. If you're new to working with mixed media with the supplies we have in the box, I am here to give you a few tips. Because our markers are mostly super saturated and our pencils are really desaturated, I actually started with making my base be with colored pencils since they're lighter, less saturated, more natural colors, and in all the areas where I wanted there to be bright saturated colors, I ended up using the markers. I gradually built up tone using both of these supplies until it was time to use the line art, and I saved the line art for last because this line art is water soluble, meaning if I did the line art first, the markers would make the line art bleed, and we don't really want that. So it's important to know to use your colored pencils and markers before you put on your line art.